Ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a news story that came out in ttnews.com, drug test failure rate for safety sensitive workers, okay? These are people that work in trucking, mass transit, um, any type of job that really impacts a lot of people. So these folks are failing drug tests and these are federally mandated drug tests that they must take because of the nature of their job. They are failing at an alarming rate between 2015 and 2016. And the data that is collected for this article was done by Quest Diagnostics. And I know some people are familiar with them because they do a lot of drug testing. And according to this article, the cocaine has increased by 7% between 2015 and 2016. And marijuana, people coming up positive, are um, up 10%. And it has actually increased more than 23% between 2012 and 2016. Now, there are also a lot of people working in safety sensitive jobs that are um, on meth and meth usage have jumped up 14% between 2015 and 2016 and by 64% between 2013 and 2016. Positive test results for opiates increased by 16.7% and from 2012 to 2016, but it remained the same between 2015 and 2016, according to Quest Diagnostics. Now, the workers that are considered safety sensitive jobs were truckers, aviation, railroads, mass transit, pipelines, and other transportation industry. All right. Despite the increase um, drug positivity rate for all U.S. workers, including those with safety sensitive jobs, has declined over long term, falling from 13.6% in 1988 to 4.25 in 2016. Okay, but overall, uh, safety sensitive jobs, positive drug tests are up 2% from 1.8% in 2015. Quest said the positivity rate was 10.5% for more than 1.3 million workers uh, that test. And these are the people that did hair sample tests for their drug test. Um, Although some fleets have been hair testing their employees for some time, only urine test is allowed for DOT mandated driver drug test. Um, positive post accident drug test results increased by 25%. And that's between 2012 and 2016. So, you know, these people in these safety sensitive, what they consider safety sensitive jobs, the drug misuse and illegal drugs in the workplace is on the rise. Okay. So it's just like any other sector that's in the U.S. at this time. I mean, people are failing these tests and companies are really losing a killing on all of these drug tests. Like I said, it's gonna become mandatory for people to pay for their own drug tests. That's what ultimately is going to happen. Um, okay, uh, the DOT drug test report of 5.5 million lab reported random DOT test was the highest overall failure level since at least 2009, including year-over-year -year increases in three of five 
drug categories. Wow. So I understand why marijuana might be high because of the legalization that's going on across the country and people not realizing that they can't use marijuana when they're a driver with a commercial driver's license. The increases also could be the result of improvements in the economy and more people employed in trucking, in the trucking industry, Potter said. So, you know what this tells me? Be careful on the road. <laughs> be careful when you're on mass transit. You just don't know who's high and you know, it's a shame that American society has come down to a, a huge amount of people failing drug tests on the job or pre-employment test. They can't even pass a test for employment and it's terrible. And you really think about it, this drug plague is really revealing how bad it is across this country. Anytime you have so many people failing tests and companies complaining about not being able to find um, workers that are not hooked on drugs, it's bad out here. It really is. Please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, ladies and gentlemen, please do. Peace, family.